Okay, in this video what I'd like to do is show you how to set the minimum and maximum frequency for the VFD's operation using CCW. And for this video we're going to be using TII Technical Education Systems Model ACD 525 uh, VFD Power Flex 525 Trainer. So, here I have CCW open, and if you've never opened it before or run it, I have a number of videos that you can go back and look at that I'll link in the description. So, here I'm going to go ahead and go to parameters, and if you look, everything that's highlighted here shows you the parameters that are being used. So, if I come here and I click, you can see that I have a number of parameters already set, including using a three-wire control here, just start and stop, the reverse button functions, and we have a jog, which has an acceleration time and a deceleration time of five seconds and a jog frequency of 20. So now what I wanna do is I wanna go in and I wanna change the minimum and maximum frequency of the PowerFlex 525. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna select basic program, and then I can scroll down and find which one I'm looking for. Minimum frequency, maximum frequency. These can also be located in the manual as well. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna change this to 10 hertz and I'm gonna change this to 45 hertz. And this will equate to a specific amount of RPM based upon the motor that is being used that is controlled by the VFD. You can see that these are now highlighted. I select here. Since I'm in basic programs, these are the changes that I've made from default. So if I go to all parameters, you can see all the parameters that I've put in here. So now I'll come over to connect. I'm gonna go ahead and download these changes. So then I'm gonna come over here to connect. I'm gonna go ahead and download this to the VFD and if you need any information on how to create a network between a VFD and a PC, I have videos on that that I'll link in the description. I'm going to select finish here. Now I'll go to parameters and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my keypad potentiometer to zero. Now notice that the minimum frequency here, which I'll show again here is 10, and I have this turned all the way. When I hit the stop button, it goes to zero. Usually if I were to hit the start button here, it wouldn't go to 10, it would just stay at zero until I cranked this up. Now I'll turn this all the way over and let this ramp up. And you'll see that it won't go above 45 hertz, okay? If I bring this all the way down, it will only stay at 10. It will keep running at 10 hertz, until I hit the stop button. This is just a quick video on how you set the minimum and maximum frequency for a PowerFlex 525 using CCW. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button.